What's going on? Rob Fish here, BikeBandit.com. Join me as we learn about the brand new flagship helmet from Arai. This is the Corsair X. So the Corsair X, it is the Corsair X, not the Corsair 10, even though the predecessor was the Corsair 5. I know it's confusing, but what Arai did was actually write an X on the back of the helmets, saying that they were the experimentals, and that way they could actually designate what was coming and what was already existing. So it is Corsair X, not Corsair 10. But go back and follow the lineage from Corsair 5, the original RX-7 Corsair, to the RX-7 RR4, RR3, and go back. And they've been building helmets since the 30s, so they know a thing or two about helmets and helmet safety. Absolutely take everything that they know. Corsair X, absolutely amazing. So right off the bat, they're going to actually introduce four colors. That obviously is white. Then they're going to do a gloss black, an aluminum silver, and what they're calling a black frost, which is essentially a matte black, but it's not a dulled out matte finish. It's actually got a little bit of shine to it, but it's not obviously like the true gloss black. Of course, you're going to have graphics and rider replicas coming in the near future, but initially they're going to bring us four colors in the new Corsair X. So let's talk safety certifications. Of course, it's gonna be DOT approved for sale here in the United States, and of course, it is Snell certified. The shell material is absolutely amazing. Arai traditionally has used fiberglass exclusively. If you know anything about fiberglass, though, if you know, like, let's say, high-end fishing rods, you have what's called E-glass, and then you have what's called S-glass, and it is truly super glass. It is amazing. It is very strong. It's very, very light. And then what they've done is also incorporated other synthetic fibers with a new resin system. And again, the shell is lighter while being stronger, which allowed them to put more holes in it for increased ventilation. But that's what we'll talk about next. Uh, I guess that's the benefit of being bald, you know, I can tell you exactly <laughs> when it comes to airflow because you get chilly spots on, the, on your noggin. So talking about ventilation, when you're talking race caliber helmets, you're talking competition, you're talking massive amounts of body heat. And where does your body heat leave your, uh, leave your body? Top of your head, primarily. So what they did is they took what was already great and they, imagine that, improved on it. You have so much ventilation on this, it's amazing. This top vent right here. Improved venting, 11%. Spinning this around, because this you actually need to see. These diffusers from the top, those two guys, are 20 millimeters longer, right? So that improves ventilation just on those two runners by 19%. So on the back, you still have your two exhausts, right? Traditional, because that shape creates the suction, creates negative pressure, vacuum. So this is almost the release of that, vac that vacuum, that pressure. Again, keeps you cool and happy. Now, you can take brow vents and add that to the equation because the brow vents, a lot of helmet companies will actually bore holes into the shell, but Arai says naughty naughty because that actually takes away from real estate that's filled with EPS, which is actually what saves your bacon as an esteemed colleague in the industry always says. Uh, and that's a naughty naughty. So what they do is actually they put them in the visor and those visors actually are behind the scenes, just so you can see them. Sorry, working backwards and upside down. Have these two intakes here. And these two intakes right here will actually channel air over onto the side of your head because on your temples is one of the surfaces on your body where your blood actually gets the closest to the surface and they can cool it off, keeping you cool and happy and focused. Now, we're gonna add that to the equation, A, two position chin uh, mouth vent. That mouth vent straight into you. Now, the beauty is these two and this, behind the scenes and behind your side pod, there's actually a dedicated exhaust vent that drops them out the back on the bottom down here. Now, one thing I failed to mention on the top, and this is a great improvement over the Corsair 5, is one, two, three, and the two exhaust vents on the back of your diffusers are, instead of just open and close, Arai has actually added a middle detent. So you have a fully closed, a fully open, and now one Goldilocks right in the middle. Okay, let's talk about the shield, the shield fitment setup, because this was a, this was a point of contention uh, and fear in the past, because people said, oh, I can't see the mechanism. And uh, if you didn't get the shield just right, maybe you slipped it underneath the base plate, maybe you slipped it underneath the actual mount, uh, or maybe you actually broke a pin off of the tab, Arai has totally acknowledged that and totally handled it. You just watch and see. 
Let's talk about the shield first because all this is going to be very interlaced. The shield, of course, is fog-free and scratch-free and UV-coated and all that good stuff, right? However, it's gonna come with a clear. We have a dark mounted here, a dark smoke mounted. It's gonna come with a clear, it's pin lock ready, and your pin lock is actually included with the purchase, right? So, what you have is fantastic peripheral vision, and then, pops right up. Now, for those of you that have worn a rise in the past, this is gonna blow you out of the water. You take that little button, you push it, that's it. Your pod is actually attached via a tether. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now, what they also did is they took and improved on the single hinge design, and now you have two. It's a VAS, they're calling it, it's a variable axis. And it allows you to one, of course, see what's going on. But it also allows the shield to actually pivot easier, easier in, easier out, super easy swaps. Now watch this. You take it, it's got the same basic setup, you hang that right there, and that's it. Absolutely amazing. Now, here's the beauty. What they did is they took the shield system. Let me actually drop that. Okay. So the pod is smaller. It is now lower on the helmet. And that did this. And if you can't tell, that is almost one inch more real estate on the helmet, which is the mentality that Arrive builds, which is called R75, and that is the radius of 75 degrees. Notice that all these vents in a crash scenario, they're gone. There's, they're meant to actually snap off. And what you are left with is a perfectly smooth shell, very, very round, and that's the mentality. Is yes, if you come into a blunt contact with it, it has the ability to absorb the energy. But if you build everything on an R75, then maybe you can actually glance off it and you won't have to worry about the actual impact. So let's talk about the interior of the helmet. Let's talk about the fit, the overall fit and the shape. It's gonna be traditional awry, intermediate oval. Your cheek pads, of course, are gonna come in varying thicknesses. You can always tune and tweak that. Your top liner is also interchangeable. The beauty of what has happened now with the inside liner. The cheek pads, of course, have what's still called FCS, so that's the facial contour system. There are five millimeter foam pads actually on the back side of your cheek pads that you can just take right out and truly tune and tweak the fitment to your personal morphology. The other thing that they did, which is absolutely awesome, of course the interior is gonna be moisture wicking and anti-funk and stink and antimicrobial and all that, right? But they've actually added another, another product, almost like another coating to it called EcoPure. And what that does is it takes the acidity of your sweat and actually neutralizes it. So it makes it a very, very comfortable interior. Will you ever even notice that? If I didn't bring you that little bit of info, would you have even noticed? No, you'd have just taken off your brand new Corsair X and gone, dang, that's just comfy. So what are some other standout features? Of course, it is the flagship helmet from what is considered to be one of the absolute premier helmet brands. But there are a couple other things that stay the same and a couple tunes and tweaks. Obviously you have this adjuster on the back, that winglet. That little wing is very uh, five-way adjustable. Depends on you, how tall you are, your riding position, what's your bike, are you running a uh, uh, double bubble windscreen, etc. But again, it maximizes the airflow over the helmet, exhausting more air out. Your beauty is, is you fine tune it to you and your riding scenario. Another thing when it comes to another exhaust vent down here in the bottom collar, and for you Arai purists that have been riding helmets uh, of the Corsair family for this long, you'll notice that now that neck roll is actually done in one piece. What used to be actually a side side and then another in the back, so it was a three piece with two little uh, kind of slots. Now it's all done in one piece. That's gonna get you a better, tighter seal around your neck, actually making for a quieter helmet. Arai, Corsair X. Mm, mm, mm.